Okay, this video is, is really only for people that have suffered with uh, OER for like 10 years um, because I don't want to have to spend, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time right now to explain the significance of it to people that haven't. So Brian Lamb, David Wiley, this is for you. So um, I have this site here, um, this Federated Wiki site, is Blackboard 51. And you can think of it as sort of a database. I tell people to think of Federated Wiki like Excel. It's a general purpose tool. Uh, and what it is doing out here is it's actually uh, the back end is essentially a, a bunch of database records and a database record editor for a front end website that looks like this. And this front end website is doing nothing but using JavaScript and HTML. And the whole, all of the JavaScript and HTML is right here to make a database less set of pages that uh, we can we can walk through. Now this is where it gets really interesting because what we can do is there's a um, there's a different site here that we don't own. So here's a Blackboard site that we have no write permissions to whatsoever and it's doing the same thing. It's making calls to all this JSON uh, on the back end. But what we can do that is pretty neat is since uh, it's making calls to the JSON on the back end, we can just take the record that's associated with the site we don't own and we can just drop it in here and say we'd like this, uh, we'd like this record in our database and let's get another one here. Let's um, Let's get home dashboard, right? Let's pull that one in too. We'll drop that in as well. Then we'll go and we'll just get um, let's get this content over one uh, overview one as well. So we're just going to grab this as well. and we're going to throw that in. So we've grabbed these three pages, home dashboard, content overview, understanding the site menu. And again, we're going to just treat this like a uh, database, right? So now keep in mind, I have again, no, I feel like a magician here, I have no special uh, permissions on the site we just pulled the stuff from. But since it's in JSON, and JSON is data, we can uh, use that edit um, link to essentially pull the JSON into our um, set of records. What was the last one here? Content overview, right? Now if we go back to our site and we go back to our site index, we'll see that we added these things and now these things are on our site. And we don't have to clean them up. Uh, we don't have to do anything. They automatically work uh, with our site. Um, and now we can edit them, uh, edit the local copies in our site to make them more suitable for our um, own audience. And that's it. Oh, I almost forgot. The history, right? All the citations. They're all there. We see where we forked it from. That we forked it in this case from this one here, which is uh, a site called Blackboard 53 as opposed to our Blackboard 51. Walk through the entire history of the document. The history of the document is all brought over to our site so that we can see uh, all the edits, who contributed what, and we're still linked to uh, future edits that may occur. We can look and, uh, and, and see that those edits have occurred and decide whether we want to pull them over to our own site. And that's it.